Are you making these common dietary mistakes that could be sabotaging your health goals? It's a question that's worth pondering. After all, diet plays a crucial role in our overall health and wellness. But it's not always easy to know if we are on the right track. We're often led astray by misconceptions, misinformation, or just plain old bad habits. In this enlightening discussion, we'll be unraveling the complexities of dietary habits, shedding light on some common mistakes that could be standing between you and your health goals. These errors aren't always obvious and you might be surprised to learn that you're making them. We'll be exploring five common dietary pitfalls, including skipping breakfast, overconsumption of processed foods, not drinking enough water, lack of portion control, and neglecting fruits and vegetables. Each of these seemingly small missteps can have a significant impact on your health and wellness. Stay tuned as we delve into these dietary pitfalls and how to avoid them. The first common mistake is skipping breakfast. Now you might be thinking, I'm too busy in the morning or I'm just not hungry when I wake up. But let's dive into why breakfast is often hailed as the most important meal of the day. Firstly, breakfast kickstarts your metabolism. After a long night's fast, your body is running on empty. Eating breakfast signals your body that it's time to start burning fuel again. This not only helps you burn calories throughout the day, but also keeps your energy levels up and your mind sharp. Secondly, studies have shown that people who eat breakfast are less likely to overeat later in the day. When you skip breakfast by lunchtime, you're so hungry that you end up eating more than you would have if you just had something in the morning. This can lead to weight gain and other health problems over time. But what if you're not a breakfast person? That's okay. The key is to start small and simple. A piece of fruit, a handful of nuts, or a container of yogurt are all quick, easy, and healthy options. And if you're really in a rush, a smoothie can be a great option. You can even prepare it the night before to save time in the morning. It's also important to note that while breakfast is important, what you eat matters just as much as when you eat. Try to incorporate a mix of proteins, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates into your morning meal. This will keep you feeling full and energized for longer. Foods like eggs, avocados, oatmeal, and whole grain bread are all excellent choices. Finally, don't let the idea of breakfast foods limit you. If you prefer something savory over sweet, go for it. If you'd rather have leftovers from last night's dinner, that's perfectly fine too. The goal is to eat something nutritious that will fuel your body for the day ahead. Remember, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, don't neglect it. It's not just about filling your stomach. It's about giving your body the nutrients and energy it needs to function at its best. So tomorrow morning, instead of rushing out the door on an empty stomach, take a few moments to fuel up with a healthy breakfast. Your body will thank you. Second on the list is the overconsumption of processed foods. Now let's dive into the nitty gritty of this common dietary misstep. Processed foods, while tempting and convenient, can be a wolf in sheep's clothing. They're often packed with additives and ingredients that are far from beneficial to our health. One of the main culprits is high sugar content. Consuming too much sugar not only leads to weight gain, but also increases the risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Another issue with processed foods is the high salt content. Excessive salt intake can lead to hypertension which in turn increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. It's a domino effect that starts with something as simple as reaching for that bag of chips or that ready-made meal. Unhealthy fats are another hidden danger in processed foods. Trans fats, in particular, are a serious concern. They raise your bad cholesterol levels and lower your good cholesterol levels, leading to increased risk of heart disease. Now it's not about completely eliminating processed foods from your diet, it's about moderation and making smarter choices. Whole foods are your best bet. They're naturally low in all the things that processed foods are high in. Sugar, salt, unhealthy fats. Plus, they're rich in nutrients and fiber. Cooking at home is another great way to reduce your processed food intake. It gives you control over what's going into your food. You can choose fresh ingredients and limit the use of unhealthy additives. It's a win-win situation. Healthier food and a fun activity that you can even turn into a family bonding time. In the end it's all about awareness. The more you know about what you're eating, the better decisions you can make. So the next time you're grocery shopping, take a moment to check the labels. Look at the ingredient list. If sugar, salt, or any kind of unhealthy fat is one of the first few ingredients, it might be worth reconsidering that choice. Make it a habit to check labels and opt for whole foods whenever you can. Are you drinking enough water each day? This is a question we often overlook, but it's pivotal to our overall health. Hydration is the key to a multitude of bodily functions, from maintaining balance of bodily fluids 
aiding digestion, to regulating body temperature and cushioning the joints. Not drinking enough water can lead to dehydration. Dehydration might sound like a temporary predicament, but it can have lasting effects on your health. It can cause headaches, affect your mood, memory, and even lead to feelings of fatigue. Over time, chronic dehydration may contribute to more serious health conditions like kidney stones or urinary tract infections. Imagine your body as a well-oiled machine. Without proper lubrication, the machine can't function at its optimum level. Similarly, without adequate hydration, our bodies simply can't perform at their best. So, how can we ensure we're drinking enough water? One practical tip is to always carry a water bottle with you. It's a physical reminder to hydrate and it's convenient. If plain water doesn't excite your taste buds, try adding a twist. Infuse your water with fruits like lemon, berries, or cucumber for a refreshing and flavorful hydration boost. Remember, every cell, tissue, and organ in your body needs water to work properly. It's not just about quenching thirst, it's about fueling your body for optimal health. Water is life, ensure you drink enough daily. Portion control is a major struggle for many. It's a common misconception that eating healthy means you can eat as much as you want. But even the healthiest foods can lead to weight gain if you're consuming them in excessive amounts. Let's consider this. You may love avocados, and yes, they are packed with beneficial fats, fiber, and a variety of nutrients. But one medium-sized avocado also contains around 240 calories. If you're eating two or three a day on top of your regular meals, those calories add up quickly. The key to a balanced diet isn't just about choosing the right foods, but also paying attention to how much you eat. It's about portion control. So, how can we manage portion sizes? One simple trick is to use smaller plates or bowls. It may seem trivial, but it's a psychological trick that works. When you fill up a small plate, your brain perceives it as a lot of food. But in reality, you're eating less than if you were to fill up a larger plate. Another tip is to drink a glass of water before meals. This helps to fill up your stomach, reducing the amount of food you need to feel satisfied. Yet another strategy is to fill half your plate with vegetables, a quarter with lean proteins, and the remaining quarter with whole grains. This ensures you're getting a balanced meal without overdoing it on any one food group. Remember it's not just what you eat, but how much you eat. The final common mistake is neglecting fruits and vegetables. These colorful components of our diet are not just there for decoration. They're packed with essential nutrients that our bodies need to function optimally. Vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants are just a few of the treasures hidden in these natural foods. Think of fruits and vegetables as your body's best friends. They're always there for you, ready to boost your immune system, improve your digestion, and even brighten your skin. So, how can we welcome more of these friends into our lives? Start by adding a serving of vegetables to each meal. Try a handful of spinach in your morning omelet, or a side of roasted carrots with your lunch. Snack on a piece of fruit instead of reaching for that bag of chips. Experiment with different types, colors, and preparations. You might discover a new favorite. Fruits and vegetables are nature's multivitamins. Don't forget to include them in your diet. Now that we've uncovered these common dietary mistakes, you're well equipped to make healthier choices. From the importance of not skipping the most vital meal of the day, breakfast, to the need to control portion sizes, we've covered essential tips to improve your dietary habits. We've also highlighted the pitfalls of overindulging in processed foods, and urged the importance of drinking ample water to keep your body hydrated and functioning optimally. And let's not forget the irreplaceable role of fruits and vegetables in providing necessary vitamins and minerals for our bodies. Remember, these changes might seem small, but their impact on your health can be profound. By avoiding these five common mistakes, you are taking crucial steps towards a healthier lifestyle. It's all about making mindful decisions, one meal at a time. Take these tips to heart and pave the way for a healthier you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.